While there are many problems in the developed world, one problem is the amount of food wastage that goes around these days. Organisations that help out those who are poverty stricken or unable to afford food often go around to supermarkets, bakeries, etc. and collect what isn't sold that day in order to feed those who are unable to essentially feed themselves. But for the British Prime Minister Theresa May, while they were mulling over a way of cutting down food waste, she gave Cabinet a tip. It's bizarre news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, British Prime Minister Theresa May, scrapes off the mould from the top of the jam and eats the preserve underneath. This isn't just bizarre. This is just disgusting. From Backyard Tech, this is Bizarre News. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is Bizarre News time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Thursday morning and you can see it there on your screen. Ah, uh, yeah. I found this and um, I was a little bit... Uh, you a little bit serious about this one? <laughs> um, this is from Sky News over there in Britain. The uh, British PM. Now, I don't know what my English viewers are going to think about this. This is uh, from yesterday, I believe. Yes. Theresa May scrapes mould off jam and eats preserve below. The Prime Minister gave her tip to Cabinet Ministers as they mulled how to cut down on food waste. Now I can't say... I can't say this story sits well, but it is bizarre and disgusting at the same time. And we know old mate's a bit weird, but I don't even do this. Mouldy jam. A number ten spokesman said it was a matter. It was a quote matter of the individual whether to follow, follow Mrs. May's advice. Theresa May is hardly in a parliamentary sweet spot, but now she's found herself in a new jam. Although it's her arch opponent, Jeremy Corbyn, who is well known for his love of, preserve, of the preserve, the Prime Minister reportedly declared to cabinet ministers her technique for dealing with gone off jars of it. The Daily Mail says, uh, says she told top MPs gathering in Downing Street on Tuesday that she scrapes the mould off to tuck into the lower layers. A Whitehall source is quoted as saying the Prime Minister described what she, what's left as perfectly edible and encouraged shoppers to use common sense when it comes to binning out-of-date food. The tip came during a discussion on how to reduce food waste. Her spokesman later clarified it was, quote, a matter for the individual, close quote, whether to follow the practice. Mrs May has pre previously given a glimpse into her culinary tastes. <laughs> oh, dead set in the fed income department. Um, my valued British viewers, please explain this to old mate. 
there is no way in hell I would do anything like that. And the other half wouldn't even let me. Um, no. Okay. The other half and I aren't exactly financially well off. We've got our eyebrows basically above the poverty line, right? If food, it, no way. <laughs> well, that's made me feel a little bit better having a laugh. Are you serious? No, 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 no way. I'm sorry. If there's mold growing on food, it's in the bin as far as old mate's concerned. I don't care what it is. Um, my British viewers, my very valued British viewers out there, please explain this. Tell me she's not serious. I wouldn't do it. There's the, no way. I don't mean, look. That's just me. As soon as food goes mouldy, I bin it. I'm not going to risk eating it. And I'm certainly not going to scrape off the mould from the top. That is just... That is bizarre. That is utterly bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> scrapes mold off jam and eats preserved below no once it's moldy that's it i've been it i uh, no why i wouldn't do it <laughs> no. that is that's a new way of looking at the problem but i wouldn't do it and the and the other thing is the other half wouldn't let me do it anyway. She can't, I mean, the way she is now, it has to be fresh. A lot of you know why. I'm not going to go into those who don't know why. A lot of you do know why. She's got to be extremely careful. That, that That's bizarre. There we go. Bizarre news story for you. Stick around. Part four of Old Mate Being an Idiot. Coming up shortly. Cheers.